I think we're all a little bit bored of talking about transfers now, aren't we? Or the lack thereof at Manchester United. But now we can actually talk about football. Man United are back in action. The Premier League season kicks off against Crystal Palace on Saturday. But who is going to be in that starting 11? This is going to be the predicted 11 show where I look, well, I predict what I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first starting 11 of the season is going to be. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's run through that starting 11 and let's see whether Donny van der Beek will be making his debut at the club. Now, before I do begin, I do want to thank One Football for sponsoring this video and helping United People's TV. Make sure you follow the link in the description, download the One Football app, it's free. And with the football season back now, well, it was back last week for Crystal Palace, but it's back this week for Man United. Use the One Football app, all the latest news, all the stats around the games, before, in the build up, after the match. One football is the only place you need to go. So make sure you follow the link in the description and download the app. But looking at this starting 11, there's, there's loads of questions really. Who's going to start in defence? Who's going to partner? I think Maguire will definitely start. After all, the Mykonos stuff is it's not behind him yet, but as far as the club is concerned, it is. But the midfield is going to be where we ask all the questions. Will Van der Beek play? Will he make his debut? Will Pogba start? Will Fernandes? Will all three of them start? Let's start in defence. And I think De Gea will be in goal. And I... I'm unsure how it's going to go this season, if I'm honest, because I don't know whether Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is just going to back De Gea in goal or whether he's going to switch him and Henderson because I think he's going to struggle to keep Henderson and De Gea both happy this season. But that's down to the manager. Let's see what happens there. But in defence, I'm going to go for Luke Shaw with Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Luke Shaw, he's got to have a barnstormer of a season. I think he... I'm still pissed off about what happened really with Regulon. I'm not pissed off at the United not paying it because of the buyback clause. I think that was the right thing to do, but I really was hoping for a new left back, if I'm honest. I think United need needed it. Uh, Shaw needs to kick on this season and really show himself as a modern day fullback. There's elements that are good to his game, but overall he still needs to improve. Harry Maguire, again, needs to improve in key areas of his game for him to... Uh, United's defence was a lot better last season, but nobody can say that we were good at playing out from the back with the ball. It's a big problem for United, and Maguire needs to improve in that, and so does Lindelof, or whoever partners him. Lindelof, I'm not sure if he's even 100% match fit, but I think he'll start. Let me know who you would start in defence. Now, right back, Wan-Bissaka. Look, the same thing can go for all of our defence. The numbers-wise, our defence was good last year, massively improved. But in terms of watching the team play... Our defence was not good with the ball at their feet. In possession, our whole defence needs to take their level up a lot. And that needs to improve for United to be better in possession this season. But the big question, as I said, is all about midfield. Because I have no idea what our midfield is going to be against Palace. But I'm going to predict Scott McTominay, Bruno Fernandes and Donny van der Beek. And I'm going to explain exactly why. I think McTominay, I'm going to put him in there because... I can't imagine Solskjaer is going to go all out and play Van der Beek, Pogba and Fernandes from the start in his first game. The first game for Solskjaer is just all about getting the result at home against Crystal Palace, who already won their first game against Southampton 1-0. He'll just want the three points. He won't want a barnstorming performance. And I think McTominay is going to be an insurance policy for him. Because he could start Pogba. He said he's fit. I don't know whether he'll play the full 90 minutes, though. Obviously, he had coronavirus, but he's been training on his own. Seems okay. Bruno Fernandes will definitely start. Of course he will. It's Bruno Fernandes. And I would put Donny van der Beek in there. And I actually think out of all the three positions, probably playing him slightly behind Bruno Fernandes maybe would suit him best. Or suit United best, maybe. I don't know. Let me know who you were playing midfield. But there's going to be so many questions asked about what... You, because if you look at United's squad, the real strength is obvious. It's in midfield. That's where we've got quality... That's where we've got strength in depth. You could put Fred in there, you could put McTominay in there, Fernandes, Van der Beek, Pogba and Matic. We have options there and we have quality outside of just the starting eleven. So I think Solskjaer will change it. We might see a diamond formation. We might see two defensive midfielders in a different formation. We might see one defensive midfielder and two more aggressive central midfielders. I think it will switch and change a lot this season. But I'm predicting that we're going to see McTominay with Van der Beek 
and Fernandez. And I'm excited to see what those two can do together. Van der Beek is a creative, playmaking ball. He loves having the ball at his feet. And we need better players in possession in this team. We're just not good enough at it. So I'm hoping Van der Beek can bring that element and quality that we didn't have there last season. Now for the front three, again, look, I'm not sure whether Rashford will start, but I'm going to put him in. I'm not sure whether he'll last the full 90 minutes either. But as I said in my videos I did over on Facebook in terms of looking at the squad strength and the squad depth, an injury to Rashford and that front left is looking sticky. Very sticky this season. So I, I don't think that Solskjaer will overplay Rashford, but I think he'll be worried about who will play there when Rashford doesn't play there. And I think he'll start him against Palace. I'm going for Greenwood on the right-hand side. I'm going for Martial up front. Mason Greenwood, you know, Solskjaer defended him in his pre-match press conference. It was very Fergie-esque, really. Just sort of having a go at the FA, backing his players, and then having another go at the FA. It's what you, I suppose, it's what I want to see from my manager. Defending the players in public, but behind the scenes is when you can have those conversations. It doesn't all have to be, you don't have to air your dirty laundry like Jose Mourinho. It's never really been my preference as a, as a fan. And I like what Solskjaer has been doing with Maguire. Backing him, I like what Solskjaer has been doing with Greenwood, backing him. But I'm sure behind the scenes he's had plenty of words with both. But I think Greenwood will start and I think Greenwood should be starting most games. Uh, we didn't, I haven't signed Jadon Sancho. If we do sign Jadon Sancho, that could change completely. Because then we've got Jadon Sancho on the right wing. And that does change everything. Still can happen. Let's not talk about Sancho or transfers though. Greenwood, he's got the number 11 shirt. His importance is clear to this United team and he's a million times better than Dan James who is a very limited footballer. Very fast, not that good at beating his man though and I suppose when you've got Van der Beek in now and Fernandes already, those balls in behind tired defences for the last 15-20 minutes of games, that's where I think Dan James will be an asset. It's a bit like Marouin Fellaini I would, I would put him as. Not someone I ever think really should be in, in most starting 11s but a player, I think, who does have assets that if you use him correctly, I think can be a strength to the team. Just shouldn't be starting Dan James every week. It should be Mason Greenwood starting out on that right-hand side every game, basically, unless we sign Jadon Sancho. And then it changes things. But up front, of course, it's Anthony Martial, our top goal scorer for last season. He really did develop into a fantastic number nine last year. Really, really impressed me. His development, his temperament, just facets to his game and assets that I didn't think he had and he developed them massively and that's down to Solskjaer, down to Martial taking the opportunity, scoring, tap-ins, runs to the front stick, Curtis from outside the box, bangers. He showed that he had real quality and variety to his game and that's what every striker needs to have. A predictable striker is an easy one to defend against. One that can go inside, outside, take a shot, anything. It seems like Martial can do that now. And I think he's, he's definitely a confidence player. And his confidence should be great going into this season. He's back into the French national team, which has got a ridiculous amount of talent. So to get in there is an achievement in itself. But that would be my starting eleven: De Gea with a back four of Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof and Juan Misaka, And a midfield three of McTominay with Van der Beek and Bruno Fernandes. And a front three of Rashford, Martial and Greenwood on the right-hand side. Now, what would you do? Would you put Paul Pogba in from the, start, from the start? Maybe you should if he's 100% fit. But with Van der Beek, we have the ability this season to switch our midfielders around. To not play Pogba and Bruno every single game for 90 minutes. Because we don't need to. We can switch and rotate. And we're back in the Champions League this year. And rotation is going to be key this season. So everybody's going to get game time. But it'll be interesting to see who Solskjaer chooses for this game. So let me know who be in your predicted 11 in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel. Great videos on here. Plenty of Glazers videos. I've already given my feelings plenty of times on the Glazers and I will continue to do so until they do not own this football club. But Crystal Palace, who would you have in your team? Let me know in the comments below.